Hey guys, um, I'm doing a tag. Okay, this tag is a tag that I started. Um, I don't know if it's going to catch on or not, uh, obviously because I'm not very known yet in the YouTube community, but I think it's a really fun tag and um, it's going to have a variety of answers to each person, so I think that will make it interesting. And sorry if it's kind of loud in here, I have the fan on in the back. And also, I want to say I'm not naked. I have a wrap on right now, so um, it may look like I'm naked, but I'm not. Okay, so that being said, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to name it yet, but basically, um, it's a significant other qualities tag. So basically, it's like five to ten qualities that you look for in a significant other, or um, five to ten qualities that attract you to somebody in, in that sort of a way. So basically, I'm going to get started. Um, I don't know if you guys know this or not, or um, some of you may and some of you may not, but um, I'm pansexual, which to me means that I, I look for qualities in people um, that I'm attracted to based upon their qualities and the person that they are solely, not on their gender really. Um, I've been attracted to pretty much all different kinds of people. Um, Basically, I think the only type of people that I haven't personally found anyone, but this doesn't mean that I couldn't be. I'm sure that I could. Um, I just haven't met anyone yet that I'm that I have personally been attracted to in that way. Would be a um, M to F, but I have been attracted to F to M's. I've been attracted to gender queer individuals, um, transgendered, uh, bisexual women, uh, basically all types of people. If I meet a good person and they have attractive qualities about them, um, which a lot of them I'm going to be listing in a second because that's what this tag is all about, um, then basically I could, and you know, we mesh well together, then I could see myself having a relationship with that person. So that being said and out of the way, um, I'm going to probably continue to use the, f the phrase significant other or partner because to me it doesn't matter if it's a him or her or in between or whatever. So going on then, um, five to ten qualities or traits that I look for in someone um, and these are in no particular order. They are just what sprang to my mind as I was thinking and writing stuff down. So I chose ten things which you can choose however many you want, anything from five to ten. I think you should at least do five just because it's going to be a really quick kind of boring video if you don't. So go ahead and choose anything from five to ten however many is important to you. Um, I chose 10 because obviously I can talk a lot and I like a lot of things and people so alright so number one is honesty honesty is so important and I think that's important to everyone you can't have a relationship based on lies you can't have any sort of relationship based on lies whether it's your sister your best friend your mom your teacher you can't have any sort of trust in any sort of relationship if you don't have honesty so that's number one for me um, my number two is a sense of humor, specifically wit and cleverness, I find so attractive. And there have been people that I've seen where I didn't find them physically attractive at all, and then once I started getting to know them, I realized that I started developing a crush on them, which was so funny for me. Um, and it was based upon the fact that they were witty and clever, and it was attractive to me. Their sense of humor was. Um, also, tying into the sense of humor, um, having the ability to laugh things off um, or making something that could be perceived as a negative situation into something humorous is a, such an amazing quality to have, not only because it, it's fantastic to laugh and it feels good and it's good for your body and your mind, but also it makes life not as stressful because if hard shit comes your way and you don't know how to deal with it, obviously only if it's an appropriate situation to make it humorous, you know, but it helps to make things humorous that are perceived as negative situations because then it allows you to let go of those hard situations in a positive way. Um, at least that's what I found and I love that in, an, in a partner. So that's my number, my second one. And my third one is um, good hygiene. And um, I'm sure everyone will agree with me, at least most people, um, just because it, you don't want to be intimate with somebody, you know, or snuggling with somebody or sharing space with someone, sharing blankets and things with somebody who's just dirty and doesn't keep themselves, um, you know, doesn't take care of themselves. And for me, it's for some reason, it's specifically the mouth area, like your teeth, your breath, your tongue. Um, I can't date people that have bad teeth and that has nothing to do with crooked teeth that has nothing to do with chipped teeth. I have a chip in my tooth right here and I have crooked teeth. I don't know if you can tell. Um, and that has, I had no control over that, obviously. I mean, I could have, like, paid to have braces and all that shit. But that's not important to me. What I mean is, like, taking care of your mouth. Because I'm not going to want to kiss you. 
I'm not going to want to be close to you in your space where I can smell your breath. I'm not going to want to even look at you when you talk to me because I can see all the plaque and shit on your mouth. Like, that's a big one for me. And that's probably the closest to anything aesthetic or, like, physically pleasing-wise that I got because most of these, honestly, for me, are more of, like, qualities and traits that you have as a person and less physically of what you look like. That's probably the closest that I get, but hygiene is important to me, especially oral hygiene. Okay, and then number four is communication skills. Now, this is actually one, uh, for all of you who don't know, I have um, Ray. Ray is my partner. Um, he is a gender queer individual. Um, I've been with Ray for five years. Uh, we did separate for about five months in there, but all together we've been together for five years. We just had our anniversary in November, so yay. Um, but that's one thing that Ray probably... Ray and I have struggled with a lot in our relationship is our communication skills and it's not that he doesn't try it's just that we communicate on two very very different levels so that's kind of a frustrating one for me but um, he's definitely working on it and that's a huge deal too just the uh, basically showing somebody that you care enough to try is almost just as important as having that skill in the first place because the effort put in there is really the matters you know what I mean the thought that counts type of thing so as long as you're trying that's really important but communication skills are really important um, just so that the relationship stays open um, you guys are on the same level uh, just basically that type of thing I'm sure everybody has very similar uh, you know everybody understands on that level communication skills are important so um, my number five is somebody who smiles a lot and um, that may sound kind of funny but to me it's so important and also I find smiling so attractive somebody who has like a scowly face on all the time they're just kind of like pissed off all the time that's not attractive to me like yeah you may think you're a badass but why would I want to think about going home to you every night and being spending time with you and stuff if you're just going to be a scowly face the whole time so somebody who is positive and smiles a lot um, not only do I find it um, like mentally pleasing to see somebody who's happy but also I just physically find it attractive when people are smiling um, especially people who have nice oral hygiene and they're smiling so their teeth look all like nice and clean and they're just smiley and stuff that's just really attractive to me oh and also tying in with that is somebody who makes other people smile a lot too because I just I love to see that kind of interaction with people um, it's just very attractive to me okay and then my number six is a kind spirit, someone who's kind spirited, just basically somebody who's kind, who has good intentions with people and isn't um, a malicious, doesn't have malicious nature, just that kind of thing. Number seven is open mindedness. Um, obviously, that, that kind of ties in with my lifestyle, with me being pansexual. You have to have an open mind um, to be with me, otherwise, you're not going to fully understand me. You're never going to accept the fact that I like all different kinds of people including the opposite sex and um, so like say I got with a guy a, a, a biologically born male which probably would never happen um, not because I have anything against guys but because um, for one I plan on being with Ray forever I'm you know marrying him but also just because I don't really find that I mesh well with biological men just because I am so much into women I don't know it's it's a huge subject maybe I'll if you guys are interested post a comment down below letting me know you like me to do a video on that just kind of a Q&A explaining my my perspective on pansexuality for me personally in my lifestyle and I can do that if you guys want so just let me know down below if that's what you want but anyways the whole open-minded thing ties into that obviously um, and also just with other people too somebody who's accepting of all of my different kinds of friends and all different kind of people that we meet and is interested in traveling and learning about different things just really open-minded about things okay number eight is laid back but still being passionate I like people who are just kind of chill and you know they're relaxing to be around they're not too overwhelming um, but they're not also just like inert individuals that don't have passion for anything or excuse me or any drive uh, for life you know that including your goals your dreams um, work all different kinds of things passion just in life in general um, so I love people who are passionate but also can have a laid-back personality Number nine is being respectful. It's kind of self-explanatory. It's obvious you need to be respectful of me. You need to be respectful of my family and my friends. You need to not only just me and what affects me directly, but people in general. Like I said, it's attractive to see interactions between people that are 
positive with one another and are respectful of each other's space and belongings and you know respectful of their views that's a huge thing to be respectful of people's views on things and whether you agree with it or not just to be respectful that that's how they feel about their lives okay my last one i'm sorry i know my videos are so freaking long you guys my last one is attentiveness and to me that's definitely more of like an intimate personal type of thing to find in somebody um for a relationship just because i love feeling special i love feeling attention i love feeling wanted and you know i'm sure everybody feels that way but basically when i have a partner who's attentive to me and makes me feel like they want to spend time with me and they just they can't help but w watch me and you know um give me kisses when I'm not expecting it just to be attentive towards me it makes me feel good in a relationship so those are my 10 things my 10 qualities that I look for in a significant other and I'm gonna go ahead and tag every single one of you that watches this video and um, uh, I think it'd be really really fun if you posted it as a video response um, or just go ahead and post it as a tag um, I think it would also be really cool if you um, mentioned that I started it just so that you know hopefully I can start getting a little bit more out there on YouTube because it's really hard to start out. So um, just taking some advice of some of my friends that I have on here, it's just kind of best to try to get your name out there. So if you wouldn't mind doing that, that would be great. Also just to kind of give credit where credit's due because I um, had a lot of fun making this. So it would be cool if, you know, if I got credit for that. I guess <laughs> but anyways please do it it's awesome it's fun I'd really like to know what kind of things you guys look for out there and what your personal stories are so and also leave me some comments below like I said if you have any suggestions or any questions for me um, about my lifestyle about you know anything really at all actually um, and I'll let you know if it's too personal or not or if I don't mind answering it so again guys I hope you like this and um, I think I might just ta uh, call it tag significant other qualities so um, yeah guys have fun doing it and uh, I'll catch you later